Hey guys, uh, what's up? Uh, welcome to Gear Guide. Uh, this is the very first episode. Okay, my name is D. Yes, just one letter. Uh, we'll be talking about helmets today. Uh, kung ano yung mga guide natin or kung ano yung mga dapat tandaan sa pagbili ng helmet. Okay? So we have five tips for you or five guides kung ano dapat yung tandaan. Okay? Number one, number one we have budget. Okay? So sa budget natin is kung magkano yung kaya yung ilan sa pagbili ng helmet, yun yung gawin yung baseline sa paghahanap ng helmet nyo. Kung magkano yung may hingin yung emisis, kay girlfriend, o yung magkano may hingin nyo sa mami at daddy nyo, yun, yun lang yung gawin yung baseline. Okay? Maraming helmets na below 5,000, maraming helmets below 5,000. Uh, preferably, sa first helmet nyo, below 5,000 lang, okay na yan. Maraming ng good value helmets sa price point na yan. Okay, number two, we have the brand. Ayan. Sa brand natin, dapat mamili kayo ng brand o tatak ng helmet na may history or uh, meron ng reputation o reputasyon sa paggawa ng helmet. Quality, kung mga nga. Now, some of the brands na kilala dito sa Pilipinas are uh, LS2, uh, KYT, uh, AGV, we have HJC, we have uh, Spider, of course, we have the top or high-end models or brands Uh, yung Nolan, Shoei, Arai, Shoeberth. No? So, yun yung medyo familiar uh, sa Pilipinas or ito yung mga brands na nabibenta dito. So, I would recommend those brands. So, any helmets from those brands, okay ka. Next, we have fit. Now, for fit, ito yung sukat. No? Pag bibili kayo ng helmet, dapat masukat nyo muna. Ang problem with buying online or sa online sellers is hindi nyo siya masusukat. So you really have to go to stores or borrow from your friends or sa kailala uh, para masukat lang yung helmet. So unang-una dapat uh, hindi siya maluwag then hindi rin siya masyadong masikip. It should be snug or fit na fit sa inyo. No? Pagka gets you not your helmet at uh, gumalaw yung ginalaw niyo yung ulo nyo dapat sumasabay at hindi maalog. Okay. So that's number three. Uh, number four. Okay. Where to buy your helmet? Yan. Uh, favorite kong puntahan in buying helmet is Moto World. Yan. Sa mga malls kasi madali siyang hanapin. Then you have your uh, local uh, motorcycle shops. Maraming nagbebenta dyan ng helmet. You can try it on. Tanong nyo kung magkano, etc. Then, ang pinakasikat ngayon is online sellers. Yan. Online selling, tulad sinabi ko kanina, hindi nyo siya masusukat, pero mas madali kayo makapagtanong. Okay? Yung ibang sellers, meetup, yung iba, shipping. Uh, ah, dah dahil nandito ako sa probinsya, medyo mahirap. So, I prefer buying online kasi uh, mas convenient para sa akin. Although, I would go to the mall, lalo na sa Motor World. Okay? Shoutout nga pala kay Rusty Jean. Rusty Jean, thank you uh, for... This helmet, the Arfa 11 Pro, uh, binili ko sa kanya to. Uh, very good buy. Alakay na ang discount ko sa kanya. And very trustworthy. Mabilis yung shipping. Thank you, Rusty Jean. Uh, next, number five, is the design. Or sa design ng helmet, yung itsura. So, some models have different designs. Of course, pag mas maganda yung design or pag may graphics, um, may additional price lang. Example is the CS15. Uh, the CS15 SRP would be 4,500. Uh, yung graphics niya, like yung Elias, uh, it would go around 5,400. So mas mahal. Pero same same uh, composition, same lang yung materials na ginamit, yung design lang yung pinagkaiba. Okay. Okay, so those are the five tips that you should consider in buying your helmet. I'll share ko lang yung experience ko from these four helmets. Uh, dito sa unang helmet natin, sa white, this is the Spider. Okay, so Spider, madali lang siya hanapin. Nasa mga SM malls lang. So marami kayong mahita doon. Ito, helmet na to, it was way back 
This is my very first branded helmet. Hindi pa ako masyadong nagbomotor. Pero ito yung binil mo helmet. This is a dual visor. Dual visor helmet. Plain. I bought this for around 3,200 sa SM Tarlac. So this was my very first helmet. Solid helmet. Pag may nahiram sa akin ng helmet, actually ito yung pinapahiram ko kasi hindi ko na siya ginagamit dahil meron pa akong mga helmet na ito. So, yun. Then, the next helmet that I bought is this one. The HJC CS15. So, this is HJC's entry-level helmet. So, para sa akin, ito yung best value helmet under 5,000. This costs around 4,500. Pero, nabili ko siya ng 3,700 dito sa isang motorcycle shop sa San Jose City. So, this is uh, my daily helmet. Ginagamit ko sa short ride, pupunta lang sa palengke or what. Uh, ito yung ginagamit ko. Solid helmet. Okay. Next up, we have the LS2 FF353 or the Rapid. Uh, this is my girlfriend's helmet. So, binili ko sa kanya to. It costed around uh, 2,850. Uh, pero nabili ko siya ng sale, 30% off. So around 2,100, 200. Parang ganun lang. So this is uh, the Alex Bars replica ng Rapid. So marami siyang design. Uh, nagustuhan lang ng girlfriend ko yung design na to. Dahil may hilig siya sa black, white, and red. Kaya nagustuhan niya. Uh, na-try ko na rin gamitin uh, maliit lang yung shell sobrang gaan 1,300 grams sobrang gaan pero kung nagtitipid kayo uh, 2,000 lang yung budget nyo hintayin yung mag-sale yung Moto World 2-1 lang okay na okay na helmet na to no? then yung next helmet ko was actually a G AGV K1 2015 winter test Um, price nun ay $14,950 sa Moto World. Nakuha ko lang siya ng 30% off dahil sale nun sa Moto World kas kasabay nito. Uh, maganda helmet na yun. Solid. Uh, Makulay dahil winter test, winter test edition. Uh, ang problem ko lang dun is mas gusto ko talaga dun. So, I sold the AGV K1 uh, and bought this helmet. So, this is my dream helmet. Talaga ng pinakaarap, pinag-ipunan. Uh, this is the HJC Arfa 11 Pro. This is the Benz Peace uh, replica. Uh, kaya po siya nagustuhan kasi ito yung top of the line ng HJC. Uh, this costed around 22,000 pesos. Yun yung SRP niya. Kaya nagustuhan ko siya dahil dito. Number 11. Ayan. Kasi favorite ko is... No, favorite number ko is 11. So this is my helmet. Or ginagamit ko to pagka long ride. Pagka may occasion lang. Uh, ito yung ginagamit ko helmet. So... Uh, this is my daily helmet. So this is my long ride helmet. Again, this is my girlfriend helmet and ito pag uh, may nangyayaram lang. Although, this is still usable. Spider. Pero this, ito talaga yung pinakagusto ko. Ito talaga yung... Actually, this is just the budget helmet para sa mga high-end. Maraming helmet dyan, 30,000 above. Pero ito, at 22,000, napakaganda ng buy. Great, great value. Okay. One of the best value helmets. It's for that price. Okay. Masama ko na itong matulog to minsan. Dahil sa... Dahil maganda siya. Anyway, I'll be doing a review on this. On this helmet. Later on. And that's it. So, if you like this video and you would like to have reviews on uh, other gears, so I'll be doing reviews on jackets, gloves, uh, protectors, any, any gears. 
Abangan uh, nyo na lang. So please like and subscribe this channel. And see you sa next episode.